everybody, it's Elvira at the Doll Circle, and it's going to be another segment of my collection video. With this one, I'm just going to kind of give you a basic of some random dolls that I have. Because with my other videos, I have Monster High, Little Mermaid, Sailor Moon, all the other ones, because I had enough of them to make a whole video on them. So this is going to be a miscellaneous. So this is the stuff that wasn't in the other videos that I'm going to show you right now. So a lot of it's just going to be mixed toys. The first thing I'm going to cover though is going to be my Ever After High dolls because I've had a couple people ask me which ones I have. I have almost all of them. Almost. There's a couple like I don't have Cedar Wood and I don't have all of the fairest ones yet, which is the pajama looking ones. That one I have Raven. But for the Ever Afters, I've got all the legacy ones and I have those all in the box. Those I haven't taken out of the box yet. I like the packaging on them, so I may leave them in there for now. We'll see. And then out of box, I've got Hunter, which you're seeing there right there. Hello, Hunter. And then I've got Apple and her bed. And I just recently got Raven's playset, which I have to take out of the box. I'm so excited to take this out and set it up next to it. So I've got Raven's playset. And I've got all of these lovely ladies here. So I've got Raven, I've got Blondie Locks, I've got Red Riding Hood, um, Maddie, and Cupid. And then I've got Apple over here, who I have to take out of the box as well. I just got her off Amazon for such a good deal, because I was missing the basic one of her. And then I have a couple other little things here too. I've got some Ever After High nail polish, and I've got some like makeup sets, and like some mirror stuff. So I really like them. Like besides Monster High, these are the other dolls I'm really, really into right now. And I'm super excited to get all the new ones coming out. So that's all I've got for Ever After. Again, there's not too many of the Ever After High dolls, so it's kind of hard to like have, I mean, there's a lot of them and a lot of the people have the same ones, so not too different. Now on this shelf is my miscellaneous dolls. I really love these. These are actually the rooted version of the Moxie Teen dolls, which are not out anymore. They did make them for a while with wigs, but these are the rooted versions. And I got all these from TJ Maxx. And I love them because they're fully articulated and they're pretty big, as you can see, like they're, bigger than a um, Monster High doll. And they kind of remind me almost of a ball jointed doll. And then going down here, I've got everything from Winx with this one and this one. And I've got Live Dolls like crazy. And you're gonna see throughout this video, I have so many Live Dolls. Again, I like them because they look like a ball jointed doll. They have glass eyes. And again, they don't make these anymore either. And I've got one of the Bradzillas. I had a couple more, but I started phasing those out. I didn't really get into them too much. And then on this shelf, I've got, as you can see right in front of you, uh, a Lottie Daw doll. Bunch more, and you can even see back, <laughs> I'm trying to point back there, their little heads. So many Live Dolls. I get a lot of these now from yard sales, like for two or three bucks. I have a Barbie here, and I have one of these Majestic Vampire Dolls, which my mom got for 50 cents at a yard sale. And she's, she's different. I'm not a really huge fan, but she's definitely unique. And these two, I want to take a little moment and talk about or from the Magic Attic Club series, which came out in about 95, 96. They came out around the same time as American Girl dolls. I personally like them better than American Girl dolls. They have a full hard body, which you can't really tell because of the clothes, but they do have a solid body. American Girl dolls are soft bodied. With this series, the whole they were based off of a book and these girls would go into an attic, try on costumes, look in a mirror and go into that world. So this is her gypsy outfit. I also have her in a standard outfit and this is Megan and I've got her in a standard. This is Heather. She was my favorite. And a sad story with her, I actually bought one when I was nine years old, saved up all my pennies, bought her brand new, lost her during moving a couple years ago. And unfortunately, now I had to go get her again on eBay. So I was lucky enough, I found her in this perfect condition, both of them with boxes, and I got them for a good deal. So if you were wondering what those are, they used to be my, one of my other loves. And then coming down here, I have a random Superman <laughs> that Robin gave me. More of the Pink's collection, which I really love these because let me get some more light in here so you guys can see better. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. It was a little dark. And I got the Pink's out of the box, and I also have a five pack, which I shot in my mermaid video if you guys want to see that. This doll I really love. They're from a series called Bleeding Edge, which was really big maybe 10 or so years ago. And they're kind of like a goth looking pre-Monster High doll. And they don't make them anymore, as far as I know. They might make some figures of them, but I have a bunch of those. And I have those just kind of loose in a random box. And a few more of the Lottie Dog Girls. 
and a Barbie my mom got me for my birthday last year, which I really love because she's like a Lady Gaga styled outfit. So again, this is just like a random shelf of dolls that I don't want, you know, don't really have a big shelf for, so I just kind of stick them all here. And going up here, I'm going to let Chase take over and talk a little bit about his Zelf collection that we are now incorporating into the doll collection. Yeah, no, I wasn't really big into buying dolls or toys or anything until I actually started hanging out with her a lot more. <laughs> and then uh, even when we were going out and buying Monster High dolls, I still didn't have anything. And then, well, the Zelfs happened. And <laughs> and you were done. You were sucked I'd, in. Some, I don't know. Something about them. Like, I, just, I had to start getting them. Like, they were just... They reminded me like of the trolls back from you know, like the eighties and the nineties, and I just really like them. So I don't really remember all the names of all of these. Um, most of these that you see here are mine. Um, some like I think one or two of them here are Elvira's, but most of the eight like the blind eggs and the planners like are the ones that I bought just because they were you know so cheap and I just they're just too cute I guess I just couldn't help myself. And then um, but this one like. Cats be right over here. Like she's she's my favorite one uh, that I have. Like, cause I really like cats. Um, and just, like when I got her, I was just really excited. So I'm glad I got her. And then uh, my other one I bought, cause I thought she looked really cool with my Birchie over here. I was like, oh, it is Birchie, right? Which one? This one. Who's no, that? that's Flamey. Flamey, sorry. The I dragon's off. I don't know my names. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. But I just really liked the design on her, so I had to get her. That's your only medium-sized self, right? Yes. Yeah, see, I only have, like, two of the Well, actually, the I have a, one more, but we haven't opened them. Oh, yeah, we actually were lucky enough. You guys watched one of our Toy Hunt videos from, like, a week ago. Or, no, four days ago. We actually found some of the new selves, and we will be reviewing it. It's the second wave of the second wave. <laughs> or the second half of the second wave. Yep. So that's coming soon. Then we also had a couple a couple of little blind bags that I bought. Uh, I bought a Justice League one. And I was really glad, I was really happy because the fact that it came with Batman and Robin in the same pack with Supergirl. So I thought that was really cool. I'm like, how... I like, know that you got Batman both and Robin, of them Batman together. And Robin. Like, <laughs> then we had a couple of Walking Dead. Um, the one that has Glenn. Oh, look how cool she is. Yeah, the little zombies. And it came with, um, one pack came with Glenn. The other came with, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, the one that nobody likes and she died already. So yeah, I can't, I can't remember her name at the second <laughs> moment, but... They're really cool. And I also got one of the Blood Red Zombies, but we actually gave that to our friend Chris because she helped us in a Black Bag Mania Monday video, and she really liked that one, so we let her keep it. And then also we have a little Micro Changer Transformer that we bought that turns into a cheetah when you put him down, so he's pretty cool. And this is mine from when I was a kid. Um, I have a bunch more trolls at my mom's house. This is an original troll with a little stone in the middle. So for those of you who didn't grow up with trolls, this is what they looked like before. And then these little ninjas I actually bought at a... I bought a Walmart for like a quarter. They were like in the quarter machine, so I just bought like a bunch of them. And then, uh, I don't know, I just thought they were really cool. And if, if you see in my car, I have a little like little alien looking thing that I have sitting in my next to my timer in my car. Yeah, so. quarter machines take a lot of our money. Okay. Which I actually got from that same Walmart, the Walmart in Stanford. So, and the only Walmart in, in the area where I actually found a Monster High uh, Yeah, the Monster High blind bags are really hard to find here, and you only found them once. And then this little section is all mine. I love the medium selves better because they have more detailing with them and they're bigger. So I've got Birchie, Spelinda, you know, I mean, Little D, uh, Vampula. I love them. I think they're so, so, so cute. And we have, like I said, we have more selves coming. We just have to finish reviewing them. So that's why they're not up there right now. And then, sorry, you see our hands. Hi, guys. <laughs> Shadows. The one, one bad thing about lighting in here. I've got some squinkies, too. I really like squinkies. They're so cute. And then coming over here, I've had a few people ask me why I have a giant skeleton in my room on a sitting on a pink throne. A, I really like weird chairs, so my house has random chairs around, so that's why they have the pink chair. And then the skull is because um, before I really got more into toys, about five years ago, I got really into Halloween merchandise. So the rest of my house is covered in skulls, bats, spiders, and other Halloween stuff. And I name him Lorkin. Yes, I named my skeleton. <laughs> so and then coming here is a random bin. I'm not going to take them all out, even though I probably should. There is a bin full of plushies, and I have everything from Frankie to Yo Gabba Gabba, who I love, Broby. I've got Luna. I've got some of the Boo uh, Beanie Boos, which have the big eyes. I love them. Hello Kitty, um, Moshi Monsters, more Hello Kitty, um, Littlest Pet Shop plushies. And then you can kind of see on the side, I have a lot of Monsters University. When they went on sale after the movie came out, they were like $2. I bought 
the whole set of plushies. So I have all the characters. I've got, I mean, I think I'm missing like two or three of the pink girls. But besides that, I have a lot. And I've got a bunch of cats in there. So I'm really, really, really into plushies. But I decided to put them all in a bin because I didn't want to get them all messed up. And then this girl, I'm going to take a second to talk about her. Uh, I mentioned briefly in my Little Mermaid collection video that I had two of the Princess and Me dolls. This is the second one. I actually bought her before I found the other one anywhere at Toys R Us. I bought her at eBay or on eBay. And I like her because my nat like not my natural, but my real hair that I dye is red. And I kind of think of her as my mini me. So I make outfits for her and I take her around places and she's one of my favorite dolls. So she's, if I had to say out of all of my toy collection, She's probably one of my favorites because I take her out the most and I like making stuff for her. So that's one of my favorite dolls. And Robin takes, Robin has her in the Belle version and that's like her mini me. So together we take them out. So let me uh, stop the video here for a second and I will show you guys what I have in some of my bins. All right, so some more random stuff that I have. I'm gonna just open up the bins and show you. Um, again, I don't have enough room. So that's why a lot of these are in bins, unfortunately. But I have, uh, Courtney doll, a Whitney doll. I used to really like Barbie. Um, one of the main reasons why I collect dolls is because my mom. My mom has over 3,000 Barbies. So that's why I have so many toys. <laughs> and I've got in here everything from the original Selena doll. So if you guys remember Selena from the 90s, the singer that passed away. I actually bought her when that happened. I've got tons of Halloween Barbies. I really, really like witches and I really love Halloween. So I've got tons of the Halloween Barbies. I have this one I need to open as well. This is my fairest raven, which I briefly mentioned over there. I need to open her. And I have like peony ponds. And this is a little bit of what I have left from my Spice Girls set, uh, like, uh, series that I had before. Ginger was my favorite. So I kept a few of the gingers. But besides that, I sold the rest of my collection. So here, let me walk over here. And let me show you what you guys more toys this is just a random bin of toys that I have um they don't really go on shelves or anything so I have everything from little figures to accessories and just tons and tons of stuff and this which I covered in another portion of a video is all my mini blights and littlest pet shop toys which again I got in another video all my Zelf eggs, which I haven't done anything with, but I have them. <laughs> so we have tons of Zelf eggs here. And in this box, I have more dolls. Um, like I said, I'm really into Barbie because of my mom. So I have a couple reproduction, like this is the reproduction of the original. I was lucky to get her for only 15 bucks. Toys R Us. And then this is her anniversary one. The Now and Then doll that came out in 2009 when she had her, bur her birthday. And they, the original price of Barbies were $3 when they came out. So this was actually only $3. They gave it to the same price for the anniversary edition. And I've got more Littlest Pet Shop stuff. I have tons of the little fairy figures. Let me show you that way. Fairy figures and stuff. And I like animes, obviously, because I like Sailor Moon. So I have this beautiful piece which I got as a gift years ago. And let me see what else I got in here to show you guys. I have this Barbie, which I actually did a review on. She came out a few months ago, the Sports Illustrated Barbie. And I've got a Moxie Girl doll. Again, a lot of these I just don't have the space for, so unfortunately they have to go in bins for right now. And since I'm moving again, they're gonna have to go in bins. And this is a doll that I'm really sad is discontinued. Um, I showed you a bunch that were open on the shelf there, but I also have a bunch of these in package as well. I got them when they were clearancing them out, and I like them because you can change all their wigs. I got these for like five or six dollars, I think. So I got these two. And I have this one only because it reminds me of Jen. So she can wiggle around. <laughs> and I have actually, I found a gem doll at a thrift store for 10 cents. And besides that, that's the only gem toy I have because they are so expensive. I am still trying to find a few gem pieces for my collection. And I'm going to leave Chase waiting here. I'm going to go by here <laughs> and show you guys some more stuff. More uh, Live Girl dolls. Again, I got these for like 4 or $5 at Target when they were being discontinued. And again, I love them. They're so colorful and they're so, so pretty. 
I'm really sad that they're going away. So I know that was really random, unlike the other ones that were more organized in my collection video. Again, I hope you guys really like this. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Please like and subscribe. And these are all my toys, you guys. So I hope you like everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.